hello everyone so today we are going to work on these animations for getting in into the car so last time we worked on getting in uh, getting in and start driving away we implemented that part but we didn't have a proper animation to get in so we are going to work on that part today and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support okay so this is what happens at the moment when I go closer the character automatically gets in the car and I can drive away so let's polish this up a little bit now and the first problem we have is the character actually automatically gets in so instead of the happen it like that I want to uh, first the player should press E then only the character should enter the car manually so how do we do that ok uh, let's uh, do we have any interfaces no ok so let's create a interface for interactions uh, let me define the interface like this blueprint blueprint interface ppi interactor this should be simple then I add a function start interaction and uh, yeah that should be enough because the reason to set up this as interactable is because when you create a game there could be more than one type of objects that you can interact with not just cars so that's why I name it as interactable to give it some common nature alright now in the player interface pvi player interface i'll add another function set interactable and i'll give a reference in the type of actor i'll call it interactable object then um, here I'm gonna move these parts aside this player check and everything I'm gonna move them aside and uh, let me break this here because we still need this later on we're gonna need this part mm. so here if another object in uh, overlap with this um, player detector what I'm gonna do is call set interactable on using the BPI player interface then as the interactable object I'm gonna give a reference to not select self so what I'm trying to do is set this car as the current interactable object of the player and when this happens what oh wait what I want to do is let's add another interface another function here remove interactable see here also I'm going to give a reference object so when the character leaves the door area of the car 
that interactable object should be removed from the player otherwise player will be able to start interacting even when the player is moved away from the car so that remove interactable self right now we need to implement these two set interactable and remove interactable functions in the player character which is in this case the third person character so we have already implemented bpi player uh, the player interface so here we can just implement it set interactable event now let's promote this to a variable and let's call it interactable object also event uh, let's implement remove interactable so we should only do this if the current interactable object is similar to this reference because there can be scenarios where the play is overlapping with multiple interactable objects so that's why we need to do this check so if the current interactable object if there is an object is similar to this reference that given here then we should set interactable object to none right this part is done and now we need an input so let's go to project settings action mappings I'll call it interact as the key I'll assign E right so now in the third person character interact okay now we should be able to implement interact action here now when interact is called so we should get a reference to the interactable object and call start interaction right now in the car now I'm gonna set the car as a interactable object so I'm gonna implement BPI interactable in the car now after I implement in adding the BPI interactable we can implement a start interaction like this so here uh, yeah, we need a reference to the character who is trying to interact with the car So I'll add a reference add an input here in the type of actor Let's call it interacting character interactable yeah yeah now we have the reference then I'm gonna connect it to this player which is which I used as the driver input 
Now here as the interacting character, I'm going to give a reference to the self. In here, which will be the third person character. Right now, let's see what happens. Okay, now if I press E, you can see character is getting in and can drive away. Right now, we still you might have noticed this doesn't look really good. okay so what can we do to make it better okay <clears throat> let me open the car and let's make this door area a little smaller and let's make it face forward so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna move the character into this location before it tries to enter uh, the car so the it should look better than what we have at the moment let's give it a try right now here Let me add a comment here. BP set interact. okay and this one is interaction part um, yeah here I don't think now we need to do this player check anymore because only from the player we will get this request so before doing this part I'm gonna manually move the character to the location of the player detector so get world transform uh, how do we move the character shoot component and move component as the location I'm gonna give the location of the player detector but I'm no, I'm going to uh, only use the horizontal location for the vertical location I'm gonna keep same as what the character has at the moment so get location because I'm not sure if this the vertical location of this box would exactly match the characters location so I'm gonna keep the characters vertical location same and for the relative rotation I'm only going to use your component And what for? Let's see. Okay. Right now, mm -hmm. I have actually I modified this animation a little bit to match the getting in part so actually it looks odd here but it looks fine 
in the preview because we don't see it from this side and also after the character enters it goes to this this pose okay so now let's preview this animation enter in animation next to the car so first in order to properly preview it I'll disable root motion and here this is how it looks works so finally the character should be in the seat in position like this so roughly this is the location where the character needs to be in order to properly enter the car so that means uh, this object this car detectors route should be somewhere like here so I'll adjust it like this and also it needs to face the car the red arrow should be facing the car so I'll make it oh that um, no no that's not a good idea let's add another scene component and location and let's place it somewhere like here so let's test if the location matches the entering car location select the car enter location is here right it matches properly okay then um, instead of using the player detectors location I'm gonna use the enter location like this right now in the players before we play this driving montage I'm gonna play uh, any montage this enter car now here I'm gonna enable the root motion and from this I have created this entering car 3 montage so I'm going to play that so here before playing this montage this driving montage I'm gonna give a delay let's say what's the length of animation it's more than 5 so maybe 4 yeah maybe around 3 or 4 should be enough let's give let's give 3 point no 3 seconds 3.5 seconds I don't know right now let's check oh wait we don't need this guy anymore oh we didn't fix the rotation of the interlocation scene this should be facing the car alright the character is not moving in the car into the car because its capsule is colliding with the car but here I disable collisions but it has to do I have to do it maybe it is both parts before the montage so let's remove that part here Oh, it's not moving at all uh, right 
we don't need this moment mode change wait still not moving why is that oh, looks like the problem is this if we disable collision the character can't enter the car character doesn't move at all with throat motion so let me undo this part and keep it like before right then let's disable uh, collision of the car temporary now let's actually both these doors and everything also has collision so let's set collision enabled let's disable the collision of the car and see if we can enter properly Oh yeah, we can. But we are going through these objects because after entering, we should again re-enable the collisions of the actor. Set actor enable collision. Back to true. Now the problem is this, the car door closes before characters is fully inside the car. So we have to add some delays in between to match. This is at 1.2 seconds right so after we call getting car no first we should call getting car then we should open the door Let me reorder. Let's add a delay of one to two seconds. Actually, the door open animation doesn't match, but I don't have a suitable animation for this, so I don't. I can't really do anything about that. And when is the fully inside okay 1.2 and 3.4 let's give a delay of another two seconds before the door is closed right now we can drive okay right and one more problem so we possess 
the car with the player controller before player actually gets in the car so as a result of that if I keep the W pressed before player enters car will move like this so we need to disable that and to disable that what can we do right again here in order to finish this animation and uh, attach the car attach the a character into the driver location it takes about 3.5 seconds so right so we need to have at least four second delay before possessing the car after starting the interaction so after this point basically so here we have 1.2 seconds and let's we have another two seconds here so altogether 3.2 seconds then add another delay of one second and here let's do the processing Let's try and see. Oh, uh, wait. We should set the camera location uh, in that time. So we should do that part right before processing. Otherwise there will be a difference in camera to camera location. So transition of the cameras will not be smooth. Right. And also this part. The camera moving to zero zero location. That also needs to happen after processing. Right, shall we check now? Okay. So for a moment we were inside the car, which is not good. Okay, then what can we, what should we do about that? Alright, we can try this. Uh, let me collapse this to a node. Let's collapse this and name it control transition. Right now, let me break both our puts. Let's do that in the beginning, but then let's disable inputs. So, how can we do that? here and call disable input on the get character get player get player controller right now we should not be able to move even though the camera is transferred to the car I think that's 
the transition is too soon oh wait a minute we can still do that part without this delay right then after that we should enable um, input but Let's try again. Okay. It works properly. Then finally we can again mm, wait. Do we even need this? Uh, what I wanted to test was if I was able to move before all right that was fixed already okay so we don't really need this dis disable input part we only want had to do is removing this delay okay now I guess we can stop this episode right here And actually if I can get some help from an animation animator I can actually fix this animation and make it more suitable for this type of a car and in the next episode I will look into how to um, get down how to exit the car stop the car and how to exit the car part and one more thing here this uh, character slides on the floor to in order to move to the proper location before entering the car to match the animation but uh, that looks bad so if I move the character while playing the animation to the desired location it should be uh, that sliding effect will be masked from the animation so I think we can reorder this a little bit okay then here we don't we can reduce it here to 1 instead of 1.2 because here we are already taking 0 0.2 delay right now let's check right okay so here I'm gonna stop right and as always project files will be available for the download in the veteran page link would be in the description below and thanks for watching See you in another episode. Goodbye.